that spareth the rod spoileth the child, but he that loveth him chasteneth him betimes. The righteous eateth to the satisfying of his soul, but the belly of the wicked... Link, the princess should not have been permitted to learn that. It's in the Bible, madam. There are things in the Bible as well as out of it which are not seemly on the lips of a young girl. I hope you do not allow the princess to read all the Bible. There are parts of it I do not read myself, madam. Very proper of you, I'm sure. Victoria, continue reciting your scripture. Proverbs 14, And verse... sit straight, Victoria. I was sitting straight, Mama. Never answer your mother, my dear. Every wise woman buildeth her house, but the foolish... Victoria, the dear king is worse. Much worse. Oh, Mama. Oh, Mama. Oh, I never thought it would happen so soon. Now, my dear, there's nothing to be upset about. I'm too young to be queen. Yesterday, it seems, everyone had given up hope. Now he has given it up himself. Is he conscious, Mama? No, not conscious. He has given that up, too. Perhaps it is just as well. Considering his age, the king must have a remarkably strong constitution. I fear he did not lead a good life. But he was married, Mama. All married people do not lead a good life. Not all. Oh, I thought they did. Victoria, you shock me. Who has been talking to you? Talking to me? Yes, about marriage and things of that sort. No one. Oh, only Cousin George. The other day, he asked me to marry him. He said it would make him good. Your cousin, George? Yes. He said that all my uncles wished it, and that the king wished it, too, so that was why he asked me. I dare say they do. But you are not going to marry your cousin, George. He is not going to be king. No, Mama. Not if I am to be queen. Oh, my darling child. Oh, if you knew the dangers from which I have protected you. That will do, Lenson. You may go. Now, my child, listen to me. It is time that you knew. Ever since you were born, I have been fighting a battle to save you from the hands of wicked men. Oh, Mama! Yes, they wanted to get hold of you. But I would not let them. They wanted to choose a husband for you. Your cousin George. To make him king instead of you. But I knew what they were after. I saved you from that. That is why I never let you out of my sight, except sometimes at Windsor, when it could not be helped. That is when your cousin George spoke to you, I suppose. What did you say to him? Of course, I said he must first ask Mama. Ah, my darling child. And that did not seem to please him. No, I dare say not. Now that you have seen from what I have saved you, all I ask is that you remember and be a little grateful. Trust Mama. Come to Mama about everything. Mama will always be with you. Now, my dear, it is time for you to retire. I must go and see about my black dress to be ready in case anything should happen. Oh, Mama, I will be good. I will be good. Indeed, I hope so. For that, a great deal depends on both of us. And now, my dear, you must remember to pray for the dear king tonight. Yes, Mama. That his precious life may be spared. Yes, Mama.